so today we are going to discuss about design of pattern recognition system so basically for example there is existing pattern p1 and this is for example in our database now if we have another pattern which is p2 and another pattern p3 now if we want to check that whether this p2 is somewhere matching with p1 or not or p3 is matching with p p1 or not or is there any relevance in between p1 and p3 or not then we need to find we need to follow certain steps the first and foremost we have to go for the feature of pattern patterns which is called feature and we have to uh, find out the parameters now this is called this step is called feature extraction and measuring of of relevant quantities now once we get the feature for example we list down the feature one two three so we have to find out a mechanism by which or a suitable suitable technique by which we can say that uh, these particular features are matching so the second thing what we need to do is we need to find suitable matching techniques or pattern matching techniques so so first we have to do the feature extraction then we have to go for suitable technique to do the match matching then third after feature extraction each pattern will be classified so each pattern will be classified so once each and every pattern is classified this is classified as vector this is called vector so each and every pattern is classified and we we call it as classifier we call it as classifier this this is called vector classifier so for example c is a vector so c is c1 c2 c3 okay so this classifier is a function to map this vector into different class levels c1 c2 c2 c3 so after feature extraction we find each and every pattern is a vector and this each and every classifier is a function to map such vectors into class levels so this is the first three steps and finally what we need to do finally we need to the step four set all set of all possible feature vectors these are feature vectors so for example p these are feature vectors and classifier and classifiers which is required to design and model the system So first feature extraction then some suitable technique we need to find out and after feature vector uh, feature extraction we get feature vectors which uh, where the classifier we, need, we get a function to map such vectors into class levels and we need to find out the set of all possible feature vectors and classifier which is required to design and model the system so uh, we can take uh, 
this is a very famous in Duda's book. If you go to the book written by Duda, uh, so you you can find out this. So in this book, you can find it out. Okay. The different classification methods. So So different classification methods uh, we have after uh, we do after analysis classification that's and clustering. So basically there are two things. We, we go for supervised learning method for classification. So this is different classes and once we do the classification we can do clustering. So for example human understand for it this is an example human understand that this is rock this is tree this is water this is sky this is beach this is people this is street this is a car this is a so this is a tiger uh, I'm sorry uh, this is a jungle picture of a jungle this is a tiger so what how computer uh, can identify so we need to have the database and we have the basic pattern recognition method so in a basic structure, we have two basic factors. That is, one is feature, one is classifier. Okay, that feature, for any example, we have certain boundaries to define the feature, and that classifier is a mechanism and method to de determine the pattern. So we cannot claim that it is hundred percent matching. So the feature should be well chosen to describe the pattern from knowledge. So basically, knowledge is the basis of pattern. So different types of knowledge kept and stored in the database that is uh, required to classify the patterns. So basically, uh, this knowledge base is required to analyze the pattern is basically experience, analysis, trial and error. The classifier should contain the knowledge of each pattern category and also the criteria to metric criteria or metric to discriminate different pattern classes so there are training set which define so so this is a structure or model we can find out that query is there to do the feature extraction then classifier so this basically required by training set so different classifiers are there to find out different training set so after that we go for the uh, pattern recognition model so basically there are four uh, basic pattern recognition model template matching syntactic statistical and neural network model we will st study all the four so we are going to give you the basic idea about that pat pattern matching so there is a famous uh, you know in Duda's book if you follow the book of Duda there is a famous example of fish sea fish so b1 and b2 for example okay and this two fish uh, or sorry sorry this is uh, s1 and s2 so solomon fish and uh, two, 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 two different sea fish available which is uh, s1 and s2 This is called two class problem which is mentioned in the book for example we have a m classifier to do the classification so first first we need to find features and classifier then s1 in the S1, for example, S1 is X1 is the number of samples in S1, and in S2, it defines that X2 is the number of samples in S2. Then we can define this M classifier. For example, um, add, uh, there are two methods by which we can define the classifier. So the definition, the define of classifier. For example, a method is x1 plus 
bx2 rather than c this is a addition classifier or we can use x1 plus a into x2 plus b rather than c greater than or less than whatever it is so these are the classifier so choose a b c in such a way that this classifier okay can satisfy it all the conditions holds good for x1 and x2 so basically this is the starting so what can be the issues mm. if we if we start uh, you know working on this two class uh, two classifier problem so what can be different different issues what are the different different issues we find out so first different issues we can find it out so the first is variability in pattern for each class we can have second in feature vector features which is called feature vector so variability in features which is called feature vector so feature vector we can write feature vector of different patterns of different classes so we can have m class problem so this is we can say that m classification or m classif class problem m classification so let's now let's uh, and we can also have some noise noise in uh, measurement so now we choose hypothesis h to learn and appropriate appropriate function to uh, to calculate that h classifier so for example um, this is the formula xi yi for all values of i 1 to l for this is and this defines the training set which is x1 has feature vector of class yi for all values of all learning set values from 1 to l now from that we can classify for example uh, this is x1 values and this is x2 values but uh, the best pattern is for example these are x1 values and these are x2 values so if we can find out this classifier to discriminate x1 and x2 properly then we can say that we have a better training set and we have a better classifier to validate and test different kinds of data so basically that you know another category idea is that quantitative description using length measure of area texture and then uh, we have to find out that uh, how they are relevant and whether there there is any relation between each and every com component or not uh, now if there is no relation then we 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 need to measure them in a different uh, in different plane uh, now structure descriptions are basically quantitative factors strings and trees order formulation combinations or hierarchical relation between each component so Now the classification techniques based on lookup table. D 
decision theory based on distance correlation Bayesian classifier which we have already discussed then uh, this classifier methods we have already discussed so two pattern classes so this we have al already started discussing about for example there are two pattern classes x is a pattern vector so we have chosen we have chosen that uh, prior value of w1 for a specific value of x and if p w1 given x is greater than p w2 given x then we can write something like that from the base classifier and we can calculate the error given x so this is how we can uh, calculate the errors in Bayesian classifier as well now this is Bayesian classifier for multiple pattern classes risks, uh, this is this is risk based conditional risk based on Bayesian classifier we can go for a decision function a classifier assigns x to class wi if d1 of x is greater than dj of x or all value of i greater not equal to j where dx is called decision function and the decision boundaries between wi and wj for i not equal to j is that di of x not equal to dj of x so we have already calculated from normal distribution that uh, if x is multidimensional and x is one dimensional from Gaussian distribution and normal Gaussian distribution we have calculated what is the value of what is the probability value so this this all already we have calculated so this is a basically neural network model and we will discuss neural network model later so and we will be dis discussing different other methods like template matching and all so by different different methods we can find out we can measure different different pattern so there are uh, different uh, classification methods we will be discussing so after this we go for the feature generation and we need to go for that uh, you know finding out that which uh, classifier is the best suit for this feature so so there are basically two different types of classifiers available so it depends on different shapes size features so feature selection will come to that later come to that later before that let's see so basically there are two types of classifiers one is called linear classifier one is called non-linear classifier so we have seen that this is a linear classifier and this is a non-linear classifier so depending on <coughs> sorry depending on different different uh, values of x and y we can find out that what type of classifier can best classify so we actually need to first design the classifier from learning okay so this is called learning from example so for example you are a learner this is a machine so learning with for example with guide or guided model or unguided model learning with teacher so this is your teacher or guide who is actually giving you feedback now now learner has been given a problem by the guide and he is giving answer and you are giving feedback like that okay 
you can actually train that particular classifier to find out whether it will be uh, linear or non-linear so in context of so in context of pattern recognition in context of pat pattern recognition system uh, so first we have to find out feature vectors these feature vectors are will be given some input to the classifier and you have m class problem for example here we have two class class 1 class 2 which is having value x1 and x2 now then it is easy to classify so you need to have multiple you know linear and nonlinear classifier to classify xi values in different plane and uh, from the feedback of the teacher you can or feedback of from the system so there is always a feedback from the system there is always feedback Feed, feedback is required in the system to to give a proper learning method so in a learning we have already seen there are three types of learning one is called supervised teacher based teacher give the class level to each and every feature vector and uh, second is uh, second is reinforcement uh, reinforcement so we have already started discussing about this kind of learning supervised learning and already there are unsupervised learning mechanism is there so in unsupervised learning me mechanism so it, it, it is called clustering only clustering so this is classification and uh, we, we are talking about supervised learning only using the classification method okay so let's mathematically formulate it uh, so if uh, we have such learning mechanism let's mathematically formulate so let's uh, this we have already discussed x1 and yi for all values of i1 to l which is where xi belongs to x and y a belongs to r now here in this case y is continuous and define learning techniques define learning techniques and and the regression function there is a regression function there is a y f and x so in between one okay so we can best fit the function y equal to fx from this okay we can design or we can find out the solution let x belongs to r then model the solution in such a way that f is polynomial and of degree l so we can basically design the classifier and when we design the classifier so let's uh, discuss design of classifier so when we design the classifier so when we go for design of a classifier so this define the x values which belongs to the regression function uh, which represent the feature vector so then we can calculate uh, f of i as a conditional joint probability of random variable x 
xi for the value of x1, x2, xn which which gives value of xi of class ci okay so let py of x equal to p which define the class i okay of x where i value is 0 to n Now here in this case, QI is called posterior probability function for of class CL. So considering the hypothesis of the classifier H of X, which will be from this conditional probability with PDF this we can calculate that HX equal to 0 or 1 otherwise this implies the feature vector x which is most likely to come from class ci now come from ci which is c0 then C1 we can write since this is this is greater this is less so for example this is coming from C0 this is coming from CI so this most likely to come from C0 so there okay in CI I equal to C This x, which is r to the power n in the feature space y, the y value is in between 0 to 1, is the set of class level. H is the hypothesis which is also the set of classifier of called classifier of interest. So interest. Then F of H is the probability of HX x that define that f h is the probability that h miss classifies random variable x then if given x given h we can calculate calculate f of h if we if the p value known for ci that is probability for ci value is known that's for the class if probability value is known. Now, now this denotes for example PDF of 
feature vector of class ci then pi equal to probability of yx this is prior this is from base theorem and qi of x is calculated at probability of yx equal to i given x so qx equal to fix pi by z so z is calculated as p1 which is normalization this z is normalization constant for classifier h0x h1x all so hx will be 0 if q0 sorry q0 by q1x greater than 1 else it will be 1 this is derived from base classifier q0x greater than q1x which defines p0 f0x greater than p1 f1 x this defines the base conditional probability function so so after that we can do the feature selection and finally we can apply in different retrieval techniques so this is my uh, transmission this is my pattern recognition so and we can uh, graph that using this different types of pattern recognition different types of classification techniques so this is a basically graph or this is basically relation between different query and data set so so this defines and this is basically how we can uh, design a pattern recognition system okay thank you so we can uh, conclude that pattern recognition is uh, nearly everywhere in our, in our life so this is required for different detection retrieval and all and this is a basically research topic so this is basically we need to model a feature uh, um, model our pattern recognition system so where when we model a uh, pattern recognition system so we need to find out new features better classifier and design a decision theory and that's it